Hey guys, we're super excited to be here at the LA Fit Expo. It's our third year in a row. And uh, what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be launching the Tasty Pastry. It's a low carb Pop Tart. It's got three to four grams of net carbs. And we love this show. This is our best place to be in LA. I'm Dave Palumbo, founder of Species Nutrition. I created Species Nutrition with one mission in mind to provide bodybuilders and serious athletes with no-nonsense supplements that work and are backed by science. From my earliest bodybuilding days, I believed in only putting the best in my body, and that lives on in the Species Nutrition line of products. We use only top-of-the-line formulations dosed for maximum results and the best flavoring systems available. I put my name and reputation on every bottle of Species Nutrition products. If you want to be your absolute best, join the evolution. Dave Palumbo here with a RX Muscle Supplement and Science. Today we're going to talk about injections. And uh, a lot of people have been asking me about this. And you know, it's something I wanted to do and talk about um, for quite a while. And I just kept putting it off. And, and finally, I guess it came back to me. Because someone, one of my clients asked me a question. And they said, look, Dave, I took a shot in my glute muscle. And when I pulled the needle out, blood shot out halfway across the room. Another guy sent me an email saying, Dave, um, when I stuck a needle into my tricep, um, the muscle was twitching like crazy, and uh, I, I didn't know if I injured a nerve or something like that. Another person said I took a shot of my lat, and when I, when I put the fluid in, I got like a shocking, you know, burning feeling down my hand, and I, I was whacking it on the table, and, and I'm a little nervous. I think I did some damage. These are very common occurrences that don't happen every single time, but they do happen when you inject anything into your body, especially when you don't know the anatomy of what you're doing. Even if you know the anatomy, sometimes you, you can do things that just you had bad luck on. Number one thing, when you inject into a muscle, okay, there are vessels that run through these, these, uh, through these muscles that, that, number one, provide the muscle with blood, arteries and veins. There's nerves that run through these things that innervate the muscles that enable them to contract, okay, according to what your brain tells them to do. And these are just constantly running. Now, if you know the anatomy of what's going on, you can usually avoid the big vessels. But there's always little tiny vessels in there. And the big vessels terminate in tiny little what we call capillary beds, which are the microscopic you know, blood vessels. But when you go through them with a needle, okay, they bleed. So when you're injecting okay, uh, a substance into a muscle and you maybe break some of these vessels in there, all the pressure from that substance you're injecting creates back pressure, which can cause the blood, it can cause some of the stuff you're injecting to squirt out, okay, of the wound. And I've talked about this before. I've said there's ways that you can avoid that, that back pressure by kind of moving the skin, okay? If here's your, your muscle, you can kind of just move the skin a little bit to the side, and then you inject, and then the skin will go back and it will kind of seal off um, the injection site, okay? That, that's one, you know, thing that happens. But I think more so, what people are really afraid about is hitting vessels. The question I always get is, oh, what if I get uh, the needle inside the blood vessel? Uh, what if I hit a nerve and I, and, I, and I damage the nerve? Very unlikely. And I'm going to show you why. Here's my little, I have all these cords all over my studio floor. There's no organization, <laughs> okay, in certain areas. So I got one of these cords here. I think it's an uh, HDMI cord. This, if you think about the inside of, forget the muscles and everything, inside the muscles, okay, your bicep muscle, for instance, or tricep muscle, you have this array of blood vessels running through, the, right, the, the muscle. Some of these are nerves, some of these are arteries, some of these are veins. It doesn't matter which what they are. When you inject, when you take a needle, you know, let's take our needle here, and you, actually, do I have my needle pen? I do. This was sent to me by Bobby Muscles, my, my little needle pen, a syringe pen. When you take your, your syringe and you actually inject through the skin, okay, and you perforate the skin, now you have, you have to navigate these vessels that you don't even know they're in there, okay? So most of the time you go in and you, and you, and you don't hit anything, and you, and you put the shot in and you're all good to go. Sometimes, however, you take an, an odd angled shot and you go in and rather than go right into the, between the vessels, 
you actually hit a vessel. Now, if you're going slow enough in, what happens is these vessels are kind of just, they're dangling, they're, they're, they're very loose. They're not like, they're not really anchored in there. So if you hit something, they just kind of move out of the way if you're going slow. See how this, this thing is just kind of pushing these cords away and going through them? So you might feel a little, a little twitch or something or a little, a little something you're hitting, but eventually it, it, it doesn't bother you because these, this, the syringe is going through and pushing these things out of the way. Now, if you inject too hard, very rapidly, sometimes you can spear a vessel. So instead of it getting moved out of the way because it's rubbery, you actually can pierce it. But you're not going to get inside it, okay? And if you pierce something, that can cause bleeding, okay, that, that pops out. If you go slowly and you hit a nerve, okay, and you, and you move it out of the way, you might get the muscle twitching a little bit because you're, 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 you're actually, it's like you're punching the nerve a little bit and the nerve is punching you back. That's normal, okay? That, that, that's, that's normal. If you sh inject this thing too fast and you spear the, the nerve, which I have never heard anyone do, but it's possible, you can get a really big backlash. Now, more likely what happens a lot of times is people get in there and they get very close to a nerve. Then they inject their substance in, and as they inject it in, it starts occupying space and putting pressure on the nerve. So all the fluid in there is, is pressing on this nerve, and it causes the nerve to fire. I see it a lot of guys when they do their lat injections. They'll inject here, they put a lot of fluid in there because it's a big muscle, and then it puts pressure on that nerve, and then all down their arm, they start getting this like shooting pain or, or this fiery feeling or, or this tingling. There's a lot of different sensations. It's not because you've damaged the nerve. Because if, if you would have felt it right when you stuck the needle in. You're not. Sometimes you feel just a little movement in there and then you inject and then all of a sudden you get this burning feeling. Or that's because you're putting pressure against the nerve now. And, it, and it's causing the nerve to fire. Okay, and that's not normal obviously. Now, usually the pain goes away or the, or the discomfort goes away pretty quickly. If it doesn't and it lasts a few days, it's because that fluid is kind of still in that same area and it's near the nerve. You might want to massage it a little bit in that area to kind of try to move it around because that's going to take the pressure off the nerve. Sometimes, you know, once again, if you're going too fast, you could nick something or damage something just a little bit and it causes a tremendous amount of inflammation around that area. When inflammation occurs, massaging is not going to help. It might actually irritate it more. A lot of times it's just got to heal. Um, you could take some anti-inflammatories if it's really bad, the pain, or uncomfortable. Um, that's less likely of a, of a situation or scenario. More likely is you're putting pressure around that nerve or vessel because of the fact that you've pumped or pushed a lot of fluid, whether it be three, four, or five cc's. I don't know how much people put in it nowadays. But even putting one cc too close to a nerve and putting pressure on it can be annoying. And that's really what it is. It becomes annoying and it can become a nagging little bit of pain. But like I said, usually once the oil dissipates in a couple hours or even less than that, the, the pain goes away. So it just depends on where you put it. But this, is, this network of vessels is the way it is. And once again, as long as you go in slowly, that's why I tell you, when you put a needle in, just go in nice and slowly and it will push these vessels out of the way. It's not gonna spear them. You're not gonna get inside the vessel. You're not gonna be injecting oil in your vein or artery. It's almost, if I asked you to try to do it, you probably couldn't do it. That's how hard it is. These, these, these vessels are very rubbery. Just like this cord is rubbery, it's almost impossible for me to stick a needle into this cord because, and even if I hold it tight, because every time I do it, it just moves out of the way. You might, once again, you might irritate it a little bit, but you're not gonna, you're not gonna get inside these vessels or these, or you're not gonna, and you're not gonna spear a nerve. Once again, unless you go crazy. That's why it always drives me nuts when I go to the doctor's office and they want to vaccinate you. And I get this nurse with this long needle that's way too long that they don't, absolutely don't need, especially on a person like me who has no body fat. And they get on my shoulder and they go, Woof! and they hit you with the, this needle like at 100 miles an hour. I'm like, yo, whoa, whoa, whoa. Can you, just, you don't have to put it in that fast. Oh, it'll, it'll be over before you know it. If I, I said, that's all right. I said, I'm not worried about it being over. I, I, I could wait five seconds more. Take your time. Because I know that if, if they hit something in there, it, it's going to hurt and I'm going to be in pain and sore for a couple days from it. There's no need to go in that fast. You push it nice and slow. It goes in like a nice little slight butter knife into the thing. You push your fluid in at a nice steady pace. It doesn't have to be super fast either because if you inject things too quickly too, sometimes you can, you can put a lot of pressure against these vessels and we don't want that. So, don't think you, you, you damage yourself permanently. This is a common occurrence, 
okay, and people who do take shots, and if you do shots on a regular basis every other day, you're going to take a couple bad shots here and there. Take your time, go in nice and slowly, push your fluid in nice and steady. Don't use, in, don't use pins that are too small, that you have to put tons and tons of pressure to try to push it in, and don't use pins that are too big either, that are going to damage the tissue when you put it in there. And, uh, and you shouldn't have as many, any problems. It's always when we're rushing, or we're trying to do something too quickly, or we don't have the right uh, instruments, or the right syringe sizes around, that's when we have problems. So try to eliminate problems by being prepared. That's my best advice to you. I'm Dave Palumbo with an RX Muscle Supplement and Science Review.